perfect aspect is a verb construction that describes events occurring in the past but linked to a later time, usually the present. It is formed with as, have or had plus the past participle. Also known as the e, n form. Perfect aspect is the collective term for all the verbs in the present perfect, past perfect, and future perfect tense. The present perfect expresses an action that began in the past and continues to the present time. Example, Mako Nongi has been a student in Hope's Peak Academy since last year. This sentence tells us that Makoto enrolled in Hope's Peak Academy last year and is still a student of that school up to this day. Present perfect tense also expresses a very recently completed action. It is often written in a sentence with the word just. Example, Monokuma has just cooked pancakes. I have caught a fish. Take note that if the subject is singular, use has plus the past participle of a verb. If the subject is plural and, or pronouns I and you, use have plus the past participle of a verb. On the other hand, past perfect tense is used to express an action that was completed before another action took place at some definite time in the past. It is formed by using had plus the past participle of a verb. Example, they had stood there for hours before he came. Last, future perfect expresses a future action that will be completed before a specific future time. It is formed by using will, shall plus have plus the past participle of a verb. Example, Chihiro Fujisaki will have finished her research before 3 o'clock in the afternoon. This sentence tells that that Chihiro will be done with her research on or before 3 p.m. In other words, the specific future time given in the sentence, is an estimated duration for her to complete the action. Remember that in present perfect tense, if the subject is singular, use has plus the past participle of a verb. But if the subject is plural and, or pronouns I and you, use have plus the past participle of a verb. While the past perfect is formed by using had plus the past participle of a verb. And finally, future perfect tense is formed by using will or shall plus have plus the past participle of a verb. Now, let's try. Listen carefully as I read the sentence then choose the letter of the correct perfect aspect of the underlined verb. 1. The film house has not developed the pictures yet. Which of the following is the correct perfect aspect of the underlined verb in the sentence? A. Present perfect. B. Past perfect or letter C. Future perfect. If your answer is A. Present perfect, then you are correct. <laughs> 2. Fred will have left before Aaron's arrival. The underlined verb will have left is under what perfect aspect? A. Present perfect. B. Past perfect. Or letter C. Future perfect. 3. If your answer is C. Future perfect, then you are correct. 3. Florence has been a very gracious proprietress. Which is the perfect aspect of the underlined verb? As B. A. Present perfect. B. Past perfect. C. Future perfect. 3. Did you answer? A. Present perfect. If yes, then you're right. 4. Andy had lost her transfer by the end of the bus ride. The underlined verb is, had lost. What is its perfect aspect? A. Present perfect. B. Past perfect. C. Future perfect. 5. The correct answer is, letter B. Past perfect. Last, number 5. By tonight, I will have finished my assignment. Which of the following is the correct perfect aspect of the underlined verb? A. 
present perfect b past perfect c future perfect if your answer is c future perfect then you are correct Let's have another activity. Again, listen carefully as I read the sentence then choose the letter of the correct verb, according to the kind of perfect aspect that is needed, to complete the sentence. 1. We. Our game before the meteor started theirs. Which of the following is in the past perfect tense? A. Had finished. B. Had finished. C. Will have finished. If your answer is, B, had finished, then you are correct. We had finished our game before the meteors started theirs. Good answer. 2. Margie. Before the spring semester. You need to choose the verb that's in the future perfect tense to complete the sentence. A. Has graduated. B had graduated. C. Will have graduated. The correct answer is, C. Will have graduated. Margie will have graduated before the spring semester. Nice choice. 3. Union members. Before they saw the contract. Which of the following is in the past perfect tense? A. Had voted. B. Had voted. C. Will have voted. Did you answer? B. Had voted? If yes, then you're right. Very good. 4. Angelica frequently. To help. You need to choose the verb that's in the present perfect tense to complete the sentence. A. Has offered. B. Had offered. C. Will have offered. If your answer is, A. Has offered, then you are correct. Angelica frequently has offered to help. Excellent work. 5. We. Three times this week. Which of the following is the appropriate present perfect tense to use to complete the sentence? A. Has exercised. B. Have exercised. C. Had exercised. The correct answer is. B. Have exercise. We have exercised three times this week. Good job.